Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a preloader type effect using multi-state boxes. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have dev mode turned on. Without dev mode turned on, you will not have access to this multi-state box feature right here. So if you come up to add interactive and come down to multi-state boxes, you will not have this option right here unless you have dev mode enabled. But once you enable it, we have access to all of these right here. And for now, I'm just gonna add out this preloader multi-state box onto our website. If we go into preview mode and check it out, we're gonna see that this kind of has a nice little video that kind of loops, but it doesn't do anything because we haven't added code to tell it to do anything. So what we need to do is actually come back into the editor. And what I want to do is come into the settings for this video. We're gonna go into behaviors and when it ends, we want it to stop completely, just like that. Once this video ends, then we want to go into the intro and then if the user selects this read more button, then we want to go to the expanded mode. And then if they select back, then we wanna go back to the intro, just like this. Let's go in and get started. So the first thing I want to do is go back over to the preloader area right here, and I'm gonna click this video. So as you can see right here, it says media player one. So what I'm gonna do is go into this on ready function down right here. I'm gonna do dollar sign W. And I'm gonna call this media player. And then I'm gonna say on ended, we want something to happen. So what we want to happen is we want this multi-state box, which is the preloader state box. So we're gonna say dollar sign W preloader state box. And we want to change the state from preloader to intro. Just like that. So now if we go ahead and check it out on preview, as soon as this little animation ends, it should automatically take us to intro. Perfect. So now what we need to do is go over to the intro, just like right here. And now we need to do button one. We'll go right underneath this function right here, and we'll basically follow the same exact steps. So now we're gonna say button one, and we're gonna say on click. And what we're gonna do is just copy this line right here, paste it in right here, and we want to go to expanded. So let's go ahead and grab this ID right here and replace intro inside the code, just like that. And now let's go ahead and just copy this code down one more time because in expanded, we want to go back to intro. So this one is button 20. So what we're gonna do is change button one in this code to button 20, just like that. And instead of changing to expanded, we want to go back to intro. Just like that. So now if we go back to the preloader state of this box and go into preview, we're gonna notice it after the animation, it goes to intro. And then if we press read more, it's gonna expand the box down with more content. And if we wanna go back to the intro, we just press back, just like that. But that basically wraps it up for today's little video. If you enjoyed, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming up really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.